and action! You can always do better, but um, so long as you keep doing better, you don't you don't go oh and nothing's getting better. Uh, so uh, today, everything with each take and with each conversation, it got better. Um, th there were wonderful moments of scenes that were. Well, I think that. Peter said uh, there was a scene of a guy going to a door, and he was like, well, this could be a scene that you could lose, or it could be a scene that will be integral to the film. And it became this spooky, integral scene to the film. So I couldn't be happier, man. Brilliant. I'm uh, Peter, I'm the uh, director of photography for the shoot, uh, which means um, choosing the lenses and the camera and also choosing how we're going to light it uh, is, is down to me. So uh, I work with, with, uh, with Kevin and Paul looking at the script and work out kind of the, the correct feel for it and we look at some references together and then I put together kind of the way I think it should be done and then we take all our ideas and then it's my job to pick out all the kit and make it work. Cool. How do you reckon the production's gone over the last three days? Something like that. Yeah. I'm Chris, I was the camera operator for Lipstick. Mm -hmm. How did you find working with Kev? Mate, Kev was great. He was an absolute laugh. Larger than life character, very accommodating, you know, willing to listen to everybody on set, willing to pitch in ideas. It was great. Mate, I had fun. I had fun. If I was to describe the experience in one word, it would be supernatural. What's that then? It's been funny. Because our director is quite amusing. <laughs> I've, I've written down a few things that he said along the way, actually. I'll have to email him out. No, it's been very good, thank you very much. It went really well. It was quite the, uh... stressful at, at times, I would say. Because uh, I had a lot of wires and not enough hands. But um, I think it went really well. And uh, yeah, and everybody else did a really good job, and I was there as well. Uh, hello. I am Robin Berry, uh, I am an actor but also one of the producers on this project and I'm um, just, just trying to get in the zone. I spend a lot of time thinking about uh, chocolate bars and cans of fizzy drink and there's cats as well, there's a nice cat over there. So I'm trying to put all of that away at the moment and just uh, focus on on being being Ronnie. And um, But yeah, super, super exciting day yesterday, super exciting day today. I had no idea that I knew so many talented people and, and that they would all uh, agree to join us on this fantastic journey. <laughs> amateurs, mate. Yeah, I'm surrounded by amateurs. Uh, Paul McNeely, the writer I've known for years, um, we've had our we've had our ups and we've had our downs, but he's a super talented guy. Me and Kevin came in and met lots of the people, and and just through Kevin and Paul being involved, I've managed to get Peter Ford, who's a fantastic DOP, and then we've got. Um, Chris, who's a great uh, camera operator, and and the team's kind of just got got kind of bigger and more exciting. So it just feels like it's going to be a really really exciting project. So I'm the production designer, and yeah, it's been really good. It's... Uh, and I'm. <laughs> Would you like to introduce? <laughs> I'm just here. Uh, I'm helping out Ethan today. Right. And cool. He's one of my assistants. I'm Ollie, and I'm the assistant designer. If you will. Play, you play Madeline. Uh, the film? Yeah, Mads uh, is is what she's known to as by the other characters. Okay, cool. And how yeah. have you found um, stepping into Mads' shoes? Yeah, really interesting. Um, it's you know she's quite uh, she's in a not very good place. Um, I have a friend who lost a teenage son um, a few years ago, very suddenly. Um, so I've sort of been able to relate the character to her experiences, which was really interesting for me. The whole team have been brilliant. My name is Stefano Guerriero, I'm first assistant director on this project, really enjoying it, uh, working with such a professional crew. <laughs> Amateurs, mate. Mitchell Lewis, what are you doing on, on set? Uh, as little as possible. <laughs> um, no, actually I played a part of Sean, which Sean. is Ronnie's uh, mate. I was very fortunate, very fortunate that a great script, such a good script, no, very good script came my way, mm. and obviously I paid him a few quid to give me some lines, <laughs> so luckily I got in. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> to top it all off, Kevin McNally directing.
I'm David McNally and I wrote the score and music for Lipstick. I had, a, I had a really fun time during the filming. We got a lot of stuff done, very professional. Everyone on board was just really good to work with and um, I think it was a good collaboration. Um, Dave and Kevin got me involved to basically do some of the special effects. I was just drinking in the pub. I'm also here to keep Dave out of trouble and enjoying the weather. That's lovely, yeah. Because in theory, her line, unlike most of my clients, Madeline's become a friend. Yes, I have to be interviewed. Well, you know, he was in and out, yeah, in and out, in and out, <laughs> and we're done. <laughs> I'm Sylvie, I'm third assistant to Kev. My name's Yaroslav Svoboda and I'm doing Clapperboard. I've just been taking acting lessons with Paul and Priscilla and Robin and um, the, the other guys. Yeah, Entertaining. <laughs> Hi there, I'm Chris Knox. I um, am the editor and colorist for Lipstick. Uh, it's been pretty frenetic. It's been a good challenge. Um, I think it's sort of, we've sort of split it into a multi-stage process. So day one editing, day two sound design and sort of leveling, day three grade, and then day four was the sort of mastering and outputting of all the 4K rushes and everything else. Um, so yeah, it's it's been a it, it's it's been good fun. It's been a roller coaster, but it's been good fun. Been here nearly 13 years, and everything tells a story. Uh -huh. This is gonna be on TV. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you keep saying you're you feel really special. I do feel really special. I'm really honoured. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this brief electronic press kit that Dave and I have compiled for you. It's a lot of fun to make, um, and I feel truly privileged to have worked with so many creative people. Cut! Perfect! Well, it's been a fantastic experience, a great bunch, and we will be reconvening, I hope, uh, when the world co goes back to normal in 2021 for our first horror feature film. Stay tuned.